Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is just an update to uh, let you know that I've put more video links into the index. Um, I started off with 100, which I did started some time ago, uh, but I've been accelerating that. So I haven't been putting up as many videos, but I, because I've been doing every day, um, I've been adding more to the video index. I, I, and because there's one page needed for each video, then I'm doing about 10 or 15 videos a day, which is 10 or 15 web pages. Just a reminder of how it works. If you've got a PC, by the way, it may look something like this. If you want to change anything, go to settings up here. And if you want to say, if I say I have a computer or a mobile, which it'll probably start off with, you can click one of these two. So if I click on mobile there, it just says you're doing this and it basically gets rid of the sidebars. If you go back to the original one here, it's still got the sidebars, but if you do a reload, then it'll go back to how it looks. And on a phone, it would look something like this. Uh, so it is quite you know responsive, as they say, with this. So in this, you've got there's time sorted, which basically is every video goes all the way back to when I started in there, it's March 2018. Uh, by and large, as things go on, the audio will get better, the video and hopefully the style and, and so on. So if you wait, it'll, it'll get better. I got, I've got to three separate or four microphones I kept on trying to improve it just cost more but it was it's about doing a better response I changed the webcam as well and of course I updated with every new version of Affinity Photo so if you by the way if you run over here look at the at the bottom of the page and you can see there it's showing the video so there for example it says 178 masking curves up again 179 181 and so on. So it gives you the number of the video in the file name, which you can see at the bottom, but I didn't want to put it all over the place. So if you go to any one of these, what you'll see is it's very brief at the moment, but details may be added as we go along. So you get a summary of what it is very briefly, publication and duration. And if you click on this one here, you'll go to YouTube. So rather than force it onto another tab, it'll turn up the same tab, or you can right click on it and say open in new tab, and it will turn up here. And yes, you'll get ads first. Sorry about that, but you know, I'm trying to make a little bit of money here, just to be honest about that. Um, and you know, people click, I get a little bit, it's pennies, but it all adds up. But the key thing, what really makes this useful are the things down here. So this is about dodge and burn. And if I click on dodge and burn there, now I've got all the other videos on dodge and burn. And also it says a C also here. This is a uh, groups here. So I've got all sorts of other things. So what else are there? So my toolbar, I've got these things like the crop tool. Um, and that's got things like how to fill in corners uh, and so on. So you can bounce around. You can also up here, if you click on Affinity Photo up here, you get back to the beginning and you also get to the other type here. So you've got Time Sorted, which we went through then. We went to the Tutorial Categories. And this gives a long, long list here of all the different things that you can look at. So for example, Basics. Here are all the ones that have been indexed so far on Basics. You know, the, it goes into real detail of for the different things covered here. So overall, that's quite a lot. I'm going to keep on doing this. So over the summer, I'm going to hopefully get about a hundred a month doing. So it'll be a few months before it's completed. I'm still also doing videos uh, with, with just general uh, one general points. And I'm also working very slowly through the blend modes. And there's an awful, awful lot to be said about those, including some new and very interesting ones. The other thing that I'm doing is I am working on a certain number of 
macros, a lot of them are based in procedural texture because you can factory write code there. I'm an, an old software engineer and also an old maths teacher. So the sums of RGB arithmetic and HSL and all the, the other things are not too difficult. Anyway, that's it. The macros and things will, free download will continue to come. I've got a plan for quite a lot of those to come out over the coming months. And meantime, it's summer and I hope you're having a good summer, despite, of course, the virus thing that is keeping a lot of us locked down. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.